Lung 1 is one sun inferior and slightly lateral to lung 2. To find the one sun, find the width of an intercostal space close to the sternum and transfer it over. Lung 2 is in the centre of the delta pectoral triangle. To find the delta pectoral triangle, find the inferior border of the clavicle, the superior border of pectoralis major, and the medial border of the deltoid, just in the centre of that triangle. Lung 3 is 3 sun inferior to the anterior axillary crease in between the lateral borders of biceps brachii and the shaft of the humerus. In relation to large intestine 14, it's slightly anterior and inferior to it. Lung 4 is 4 sun inferior to the anterior axillary crease between the lateral borders of biceps brachii and the shaft of the humerus. Lung 5 is located on the transverse cubital crease in a depression which is just radial to the aponeurosis of biceps brachii. This point has a nice, soft, swampy feel to it. Be careful to not go too radial and to fall onto the tendon of brachioradialis. Lung 6 is located 7 sun proximal on a line from lung 9 to lung 5. Lung 7 is located 1.5 sun proximal to lung 9. It's located just a little lateral to the main line running from lung 9 to lung 5, in a cleft between the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and brachioradialis. It's located just at the base of the flare of the styloid process of the radius. In this position, the point is just about visible on the corner of the arm. If you locate the point too radial, it's falling onto the yang surface of the arm. Lung 8 is located on the flexor aspect of the forearm. It's one sun proximal to lung 9 on a line joining lung 9 and lung 5. Palpate over the styloid process of the radius until you fall into a dip. The anatomy takes precedence over measurement. Lung 9 is located on the lateral aspect of the wrist flexure in between the radius, the scaphoid, which is one of the carpal bones, the radial artery, and the tendon of abductor pollicis longus, which is this big tendon that can pull the thumb out. So find the dip between all those three uh, landmarks and the radial artery and mark your point there.
to find lung 10, find the midpoint of the shaft of the first metacarpal and go in between that point and the muscle of the thena eminence. Lung 11, it's at the radial nail point of the thumb. So in order to find that point, I'm going to look at where the proximal and radial borders of the nail meet. I'm going to look at the nail bed, feel for where the flare of the bone is, and put my point in. <laughs> 